It is the 16th of the 3rd, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. Well, let's go ahead and get started on SOT.net. Kamachka's Kerimiski volcano unleashes 3,100 meter ash cloud. Aviation alert code orange. Uh, alert levels have been raised to a code orange threat to aviation, although all routes in the peninsula are stretched so that the planes do not appear in the action zone of the active volcanoes, plural. The height of the gases in the ash that accompanies the eruption has reached 3,100 meters above sea level. Lava has been detected oozing from the slopes of the volcano. So we've got another big one going off that's a pretty active area in eastern Russia, far east Russia. 5.9 magnitude earthquakes Parks Mall Stampede in the Philippines causes some damage. 23 people were reported hurt. Uh, whale and dolphin strandings in Ireland on the rise in 2012. The rate of uh, Tsetsian strandings on the Irish coast remains unusually high, according to the Irish Whale and Dolphin Group, the D IWDG. Uh, the group's stranding scheme recorded 162 strandings in 2011, which while numbers do vary from year to year, was 25 to 30 more than anticipated. Uh, it wouldn't have anything to do with uh, all the BP oil or the corrects it just now hitting that area. But you remember, it's a big belt um, going all the way around the world. That corrects it is going everywhere. And of course, the Mexico's uh, volcano story I reported on yesterday. Uh, the Extinction Protocol, section of the White Cliffs of Dover fall into the English Channel. A large section of the White Cliffs of Dover have collapsed into the English Channel between uh, Langdon Cliffs and South Foreland Lighthouse. Dover Cross Coast Guard says no one was injured when the tons of rock collapsed into the sea in the, in the area known locally as Crab Bay. It is thought freezing conditions over the winter may have weakened the chalk and flint cliffs. And, uh, you know, just history, you can see those cliffs. They total collapse all the time. And that's about all new they have tonight, uh, besides the, the war drums and the economy stuff. Over to the Watchers, strong 5.7 magnitude earthquake struck Let Philippines. That's one where people panicked in the mall. A tornado touched down near Dexter, Michigan. Several homes were destroyed and others damaged Thursday when a tornado touched down near Dexter, Michigan, officials said. No injuries or death were immediately reported. And uh, just some severe weather there. Hayes problem hits new high in Southeast Asia. Northern Thailand and parts of Laos and Burma were blackened by a thick pail of smoke and haze streaming from widespread agricultural and forest fires on March 2012. The haze pushed concentrations of airborne particulate matters to levels considered unsafe and disruptive service at Lampang Airport. And uh, that brother of uh, Lovejoy story, Comet Swan dove into the sun's atmosphere. And that's that comet they were all talking about last, last week. And that's about all new they have going on today. Over to the RSOE real quick. Uh, drought conditions being reported out of Pakistan, and of course we have extreme weather out of the uh, state of West Virginia, state of Kentucky, and of course the tornado that happened in Michigan. And that's about all new they have going on tonight. So let's go over and go ahead to the, the nuclear stuff, e, e News. And again, I'm just covering the headlines. Uh, incident at nuclear plant systematically covered up by South Korea. The official first learned of mishap at local restaurants. So it seems like the oldest nuclear reactor in South Korea had a major mishap and uh, went unreported for over a month. And then when one of the inspectors uh, overheard what happened over dinner at a restaurant, that's when the investigation began. So there's just cover up, cover up. Nobody's learning nothing. And uh, Large volume of unidentified floating white matter seen in number four reactor and spent fuel pool. TEPCO to investigate where it came from. Now this is the Fukushima Diachi nuclear power plant. Number four was the reactor that was supposedly offline and the lid was off of the thing uh, when the earthquake and tsunami hit. 
New York Times in 93, worst type of reactor accident is nuclear fuel melting, burning through the vessel and reactor basement, then into the earth. That's what we call China Syndrome. Uh, Minachi reporter tours Fukushima. Shocking. Dangerous. Certain that crisis is far from over. Media inspection limited due to high radiation levels. And we've got to watch radioactive plume map shows Fukushima contamination heading towards Hawaii. And there's a video attached with that. There are big alerts going on in Hawaii and they are quietly watching for the tsunami debris and uh, taking radiation measurements uh, pretty much as we speak. But they're not going to tell you about that. Radioactive rabbit found 100 kilometers from Fukushima. Contamination limit exceeded. Uh, Yamagata government warns against eating the rabbits. I wouldn't eat much of anything out of there. Fukushima report reveals fire created 8 square meter hole in the wall at reactor number 4. And uh... Kyoto spent fuel pool number four visibly deteriorating. Major drop over past month. Nowhere near what's needed to work at removing nuclear fuel. And they're just lying to us. Patch and lie. Patch and lie. More from PBS on Chernobyl. The radiation killed pine trees in a 30 square kilometer area. And uh, these are the same news reporters that said... Uh, Fukushima wasn't as bad as it really is. Uh, that's about all I'm going to cover for tonight. Of course, if I missed anything, please uh, attach your comments or videos below. Enjoy while you can, everybody. Thanks.